Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In previous videos, we have learned how to configure next auth with credentials, with plain email and password and with MongoDB and MySQL. So all these things we have done in previous videos. Now we are going to learn how to manage sessions by using next auth because session management is a very very important part of any website by this we can identify the user and the values and the information that is personal to that particular user that we can identify by using session management so how we can use certain hooks and functions in next.js app router of next auth that we are going to learn so we are going to understand session management configuration then we want to activate that session management credentials then we want to use use session get session and get server sessions to check the sessions at client and server component by this we can manage session easily let's go for practical to understand all these session management process we have the same application and this application is running here with the login so first of all we want to learn how to check session is managed or not section is built or not so first thing is how to check session variables like we have here use session get sessions and get server session so use session is a hook so how to use this hook and get session is also function and get server session is also function for server side component how to use these functions to check whether session is built or not that we are going to understand that is the important part so this is my uh, first page of home page of my application that one this page is there so here i want to display information regarding session that is built by the next auth remember that you can use those variable i am just going to show the values of sessions then you can use those values to maintain your sessions or information you want to store so first thing is there that we have to manage the session at server component and second thing is we have to manage the session at the client component remember that so there are two types of component client component and server component so i will use all here in page.js and i will show you the use of that so first of all we go for session for server component to manage a session so if you are using a server component then you have to use use server remember and then i say ra fce so you will create a component like this and here we have to import we have to import get server session from next auth remember that get server session from next auth that we have to use and we have to remove this no need of this and here I will display the information so under this I say h4 or h3 I say server component server component for next auth session next auth session and here I just display the information first of all I create an object I say const I say session equal to get server session remember that that I am getting and i need to display information so i say json dot stringifier and here i am passing this session variable remember that so what is this this is server component and in server component we are using get server session these information we are getting from this to this object and we are passing this so this is the object you can use this object to check whether session is established or not and you can find out the email address and username of that particular user also and on the basis of that you can take your decision for session management i am just showing the value inside this and you can use those value to maintain your session because all the concept cannot be covered in a single video just i am providing a information of session now i have to call this here so just i am displaying here i say session server like this and i save this and you will see that here we right now we have a empty object you see we have an empty object why i say here async remember and here also i put await because these are server section so you see if i put this and automatically i have information here remember that so i am login with this 
email id that's why it's coming this email address is coming so remember that so this is server side uh, reading of session variables and session properties so with the help of this property you can maintain your session you have an email and with the help of this email you can identify that uniqueness of the user and on the basis of this you can save your information in database or persist your information but if in place of server we have a client component so here i say use client and here i say rafce you see then here i can import use session uh, from you see next to auth from next to auth react so from this i can use use session and then i can create the object of this so i say const and here i say data i am just converting a name to session and i say status so there are two property here and i say here use use session like this and we will have this information i can use this status for checking it is pending or not and i can use this session variable also so for that what i do just same i copy it from here the properties and here i say it is client component remember that so i'm using here use session and status we can also use with the help of status we can check whether your session is ready or not and we can check the property of this also but here i am i am showing you only the session variable so data is converting into session and i am displaying this information so this is server component so in place of server component i am going to use client component so i am removing this and i say session session client remember that so i am removing this server one so one by one you can check your your component is uh, server side component or client side component so this is client side component uh, earlier was server side component and i refresh it you see and here is also showing the email address i'm just refreshing it it also showing expiration of the session you see and it is also showing the email address similar to that this use section is a hook that you use at client side and with this you can also use get session also you can also use this one but it use with the async and await so for that we have to use uh, use effect so i say here uh, use effect like this under this i call function and one time i will call it so like this i'm going to use it and here i just uh, create uh, you can say i create one hook also use a state so i say const and i say here uh, that uh, session values and get session values like this equal to use state and that would be that would be the object because it's an object then in user uh, in fact i just uh, create a function so i say const get session info and this is the arrow function and in this function i say this is async function remember that and uh, here i call information so i say const and i say session equal to get say await get session and after getting information i say set session value value and i pass here session like this set session value uh, here i need to set set session value so i pass here set session value and that value we passing here and this value i can also read here so i say stringifier and here i say uh, session value remember that so this session value i am also displaying here and i try to check this use state is not defined so i have to import this also use effect and use state only one information is coming so again we have to check uh, this value we are passing here set session value from get session okay i'm not calling the function so i have to call it so i say here uh, get session info this function had to be called then it will work only so now we have set this value in the state variable and we have display this also here so now we have to check whether we having the same value which we are getting from u session because u session is working as a hook and it is working as a function a promise based function so with the help of this we are getting a value now we check it i refresh it once again so it's saying an error 
that set session value is not a function so i have to check it what is the mistake so problem is here set session uh, because i have ticket object it should be as a array use a state like this save this once again i try to execute it and you will see that we i'm getting the same value you see email and expiry and you see this is the user information here so if i put here can say br tag for line break then it will show in next line also so you see it's coming in next line so we have a same information that we have in use session so we have in get session also so you can see that like this way you can use uh, uh, your uh, information at client component also and server component also client component also that i have shown you how to use it and not only that we can maintain the session also so for that i can modify this information in in provider also here so for that what i have to do after this provider here i need a callback so i say callback like this and here i need a object so under this callback i need uh, one object jwt and that have arrow function like this and one more session object that is also have arrow function like this and this is also async function and here i need to take two objects token and user here i need uh, three objects a session token and user so i make configuration for this here so i say if object dot keys dot user dot length if it is greater than zero that means user values are available uh, then i'm going to change the property of this i say token dot email equal to user dot email uh, then token dot username equal to user dot username remember that i have provided this information here also that is user email and user so i say here user like this then i say token dot access token equal to user dot access token like this and i return this information of token if session is there just i need copy of this same i paste here here i need to check token only if token is there there is a value in token then in place of this i say token and here also i say token and here also i say token that is username and this should be session so i say session dot user like this i say session dot user username session dot user dot access token and here i need to return session so like this we can also maintain session also you see why with the help of callback property we have to pass this i save this and i try to check the information here and i refresh it once again so you see session is expired so i have to once again log in this and i say password of this log in this and just trying to retrieving the information right now we have null so it is not working properly i need to check it like this because it's showing some problem because if user is not available so i try to do like this save this and try to run once again you see it working now so we have the username also so like this way we have to check this because if token is there if user is there doesn't need to check the you can say the value and insert inside this just we have to check the object is available or not if these values are available then you see username is also coming now username is this email is this so i am also setting username like this you see this value is coming from here so we can also maintain the property of a sessions which you want to create with the help of this remember that so we can also uh, create any kind of session variable which you want to maintain like i am using username here and email here so you may have any kind email is inbuilt property but you may have user or username or any kind of property which you want to take for your session management with access token so you see that how you can manage your session management in next auth using next js app routing 
i think if you learn something new from this video and if you like this the simplicity of coding in this video so please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video Thank you.